My name is Alejandro Pina, and this is the first video of my new YouTube channel, Pina Tech. I've been wanting to design a combat robot for quite a while now, and I'm finally getting around to doing so. I've already designed, built, and tested the first prototype of this combat robot, and it was such a cool experience that I thought I'd share it on the internet. So here I am. First, I'll go over the design of the robot and how it came to be. Then I'll touch on the details of the testing, including what happened and what I learned from it. Here is the Mark 1 design of my combat robot. The basic functionality of it is that you have this arm and then you have this vertical spinner on the end of the arm. I'd seen this kind of design called a hammer saw on BattleBots and I really liked the idea of it so I became dead set on making a bot with a manipulated spinning weapon. I have many plans for different types of configurations my con design could have, but before getting into final design territory, I needed to learn the basics, which is where Mark 1 comes into play. It is by no means a final design. Its sole purpose is to be learned from so that I could get a better sense of what goes into creating an actual combat robot. I plan to eventually design, build, and compete with my very own 250 pound combat robot in BattleBots, so I seriously need to know what I'm doing. So, for the first bit of testing, it was only the electronics and motors. I had never used RC Hobby electronics before, so it was critical that I understood how they worked. I actually didn't start on the design of Mark 1 until after the electronic system was fully operational. Then, after having designed and 3D printed the base structure and weapon parts, I conducted the first weapon test. The weapon was stable enough and cut through the cardboard just fine, although it did have some trouble with the shoe. When the transmissions for the drive base were done, I tested those two, and for the first time, the robot was fully functional. The first weapon design was okay, but I thought I could do better, so I made another one. This one didn't work out though. I wasn't quite satisfied with the Mark 1 prototype yet, so I did a bit more work to improve the robot. The first thing I did was design a third weapon. When making it in SolidWorks, I just kind of messed around with the shape of it until it looked right. This weapon performed far better than the others. One thing I forgot to do earlier in the testing was self-writing.
the arm and geometry of the base made it very easy for the robot to self-right itself. At this point I was ready to design Mark II, but the arm on Mark I had broken during testing, and I wanted to fix it before moving forward. What happened is that the servo gear had sheared the connection to the arm, so it basically had no way to move controllably. I switched out the entire arm with a new design which worked with a different servo attachment, and while I was at it I printed out a stronger spinner since the other one had also broken during testing. The testing with the new arm and spinner went fine for the most part. The little blue connector that got torn off, it's right here. The robot is way over there. All right, I'm gonna rewire this and... So I wanted to get this done before it got dark outside. So I duct taped the connections here instead of uh, re-soldering them, because that takes time. And I have at least twice as many zip ties on here, so it should hold in place this time. I don't think this is gonna hit those wires again. So... <laughs> I learned a lot from designing, building, and testing Mark 1. Mark 2 is next. It will be significantly better and will actually look like a complete combat robot. I'm not exactly sure when it will be done, but I've had a lot of time on my hands recently so it should be done soon. In the description you can find links to more Mark 1 testing footage as well as a link to my online portfolio. I do have some idea of what I want to do with this YouTube channel, but I'll appreciate any suggestions or whatnot in the comment section down below. It doesn't even have to be anything remotely related to combat robotics. I'm willing to do just about anything so long as it is somewhat engineering related. Thanks for watching.